It's not just some bloke, Sarge. It's one of ours. We want you to go undercover, Mickey. Julian Napper is one of the most dangerous hooligans in this country. He's organised, he's smart. We stopped the bastards! That's my man, isn't it? Yep, that's him. So what's this then, eh? I'd like to go home now, officer. We'd all like to go home. You can stay where you are. Let everybody else. You see that? Jesus said that about moving his lips. Well, when's that then, eh? See, my mum gets a bit worried if I'm not home. Back off. Did you say something? I said back off. off. You just swore at me, did you hear that? Get back in your box. Well, that's conduct on becoming a police officer, that is. Well, it's not what you'd expect, is it? Well, I find it depressing, mate, the way the standards of police conduct are just falling. Quiet one again. Hmm. Not a bad game, though, for a change. <laughs> you. Name. See, what you do, Sunshine, is unless you've got a record, give them a false one. If you have got a record, it don't work. They can trace you. Well, you got a record? No. Then think of a teacher you don't like and give them that name. Uh, Mr McTeer. You know the score, do you? I remember the face. Just remind me. The name? Malone. Michael. And of course, you have a criminal record, don't you? Malone Michael. So we can assume that is your name. Malone Michael. Do you know that is incredible? He said that about moving his lips again, Cusy. <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for your patience and understanding. I'm pleased to say the streets are now clear of bandits and partisans. You can return to your homes in safety. With one exception. Hang on, crashing on four. Language, Mickey. That's Billy Hooper. Has he been briefed? Yeah, probably. It's convincing, I'll give him that. Yep, he loves his work. I could pull you for insulting, abusive and threatening behaviour. But you won't. Leave it, Mickey. Good advice. Right. Ten days in, nothing to show for it. Oh, give it time. He's getting there. Relax. Fancy a pint? No, not right now. I've got to scrape a colleague in CID off the ceiling. You're not going to get that? Sorry, Gov, I've got to get changed. Say, I do. Just hang on a second, will you? Debbie! You want me looking my best, don't you, Gov? We're a bit pushed, in case you hadn't noticed. Well, take me off this case any time. Suits me. But you'll have to have a word with the superintendent. Just answer the phone, Deborah. In my opinion, we've got an attitude problem. Is that right? Yeah. Get in trouble one day. Use it! Use it over here! Scash us! Right, you're Nick. What for? I'm arresting you for obstruction. 
Yeah. You do not have to yeah, say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard know it with you. evidence and all that, yeah? I saw the charge sheet and thought, there's a name I know. Malone Michael. Made your phone call, have you? I hear you've gone stum. Why won't you talk to us? Well, all I can say is you'll be uh, getting a phone call yourself. Oh, will I? And who'll that be? The head Jedi? I'm sorry, sir. It's just that we're a bit stressed, that's all. Just take it from me. It's a priority, Jack. Well, I'm sure it is, but... Uh, I can't stay any more right now. Look, I've got Webb out full-time. I've got Riley McAllister on spare. Yes, Dave? He's been what? Well, where? Borough Road Station, sir. Uh, he didn't say on what charge. He just said that... I don't care what he said. Well, I just hoped he could be trusted to do something right for once, that's all. Well, he did, in terms of his cover. I mean, his street cred will be sky high now. But well, we need you to speak to their superintendent to get him out. Right, leave it with me. You got a problem, sir? Nothing I can't handle, thank you, Jack. Too happy in there. I shouldn't think they are. You've got to see the funny side, don't you? Have you? Chandler isn't laughing. I don't think this is quite what he had in mind for this time on a Saturday evening. <laughs> happy hour. In order to get you off the hook, I've had to consume some fairly large portions of humble pie. As you can imagine, when I told Superintendent Brooke of Borough Road Police Station that we were conducting an undercover operation on his patch, he wasn't too thrilled. Particularly when I declined to tell him what the operation was about. He said it made him feel uneasy. It would make me feel uneasy, Mickey. Yes, Gov. You had explicit instructions from Chief Inspector Morris. Witness, observe, report. Which you clearly exceeded. Do not get involved in, instigate or participate in any violence. Well? It can't be done. Sir. You were saying? With all due respect, sir, Mick is in the front line. You hang around this lot, just staying there, witnessing and observing, not getting stuck in, they'll suss you. Like they did the last FIU man, who they sent back with his head kicked in, a perforated lung and a label on his coat. Sir. Right. Let's hope that by Monday morning, Superintendent Brooke has calmed down, or we've got some results to justify the steps taken so far. What we need is the battle lines for the England qualifiers. What we need is hard evidence against Julian Knapper. I met him once, Gov. Well, time is never on our side, is it, Mickey? Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, Dave. Stuck your neck out there. Yeah. That's all right. Listen, look, before we went in there, I thought that they were right and that you'd stuffed it. And after? They want it both ways, don't they? Both ways I'm screwed, aren't I? execution of their duty, and he would now like a drink. What, please, Roddy? Please not paying. Anything you drink tonight is on me. I can't argue with that, can I? I charge you. No, didn't even let make a phone call. Well, they never made it stick. Bless you. Cheers, are you? Thanks. Can I have a pint of... Yours? Cheers. So, if I were you, I'd chuck that away. Those days are over. We were a blade in here the other day. No one carries through a game. Not anymore. Kate. Dear McAllister. Time. Fish. 
Hello, Rixie, mate. How you doing? All right, brother. Yuzi? Hi, Matt. Oh. Any action at the game, was there? Eh? Waste of taxpayers' money, more like. Half the Met out like they was on a military manoeuvre. None of them had anything to do. They don't think we'd have gone soft, I think. Just the usual football intelligence muppets. Old friends. You'd miss them if they weren't there. Mm. <laughs> Me and some lads got dumped on Saddleworth Mill once. After the Burnley game, West Yorkshire Police. They rounded us up, just turned us out on the moors. Dark it was. Bloody cold and a long walk and all. If you find any corpses, they said, make sure you tell the police in Rochdale. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. 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 Enough. Hand of the midnight sun. A lot to say for yourself tonight, Uzi. Scar slags make a show. Two cripples in a bubble car. You in later? In later. Half eightish. Maybe. The nap's coming down. It's about fish being a prat. Fish is a prat. Doesn't have to come down here to find that out. Seems he carved up this goon after the semis. A nap's coming down to sort that out. What's he gonna do? Keep him in on match days. <laughs> Warning. Keep an eye on me, Uzi. Don't think they'll leg it before the nap gets over. I'm driving. Nap's drinking tonight. Your mate will be gone by the time I get back, won't he? Ask him. Don't need to. Speck has got the message. Not taken with you, is he? Why's that? That piece you went the other night? Which one? Like the dogs? Debbie? Yeah. You meet there tonight? What's he got to do with you? Is she coming in here? Get out of there. Better watch it. Rich is taking a right shine to her. Might have a crack if she comes in here. Can't wait. Somebody, was you? I was, yes. And, uh, will I do? I've seen him, thank you. Fish. Thank you. My pleasure. Nice perfume. You all right? What do you want? Whatever she's having, it's on me. There you go. General wants to buy you a drink. Go on. What are you drinking? Well, it's nice to get off my life, Sam. Mineral water. Mineral water? I'm driving. Any mineral water, Roddy? Because if you ain't, you better get You driving to the Oscars, or...? Oh, I don't think that's a compliment. I'm Mickey the Builder, not Johnny Depp. And you are my... Tart? Well, there's another word that we use for it in here. Remember who you're talking to. Just remember where you are. Mineral water. Oi. When I offer someone a drink, they sit with me, not you. How much do you mean a war bus? A pound. Cheers. On the house. Nice one. Whenever you like. And you. Not flat. Rixie. I'd say one on points uses, mate. Ah, leave off. That's it, Rigsy. Never said day. Somebody's dead already. When you're ready, Rigsy. Are the gooners here? Yeah. Okay. 
Sergeant. Ooh, that's lemonade. Just drink it, huh? Mickey, the nap would like to be introduced. Debbie Gilbert, make the nap. Julian Napper, nap will do. Pleased to meet you, Debbie. Deborah. Pleased to meet you, Deborah. Pleased to meet you. Hey, Julian. I think you are in with a better chance than Rixie. So, what do you do then, Deborah? No, no, no. Let me guess. You're something in the city. Solicitor. Pediatric nurse. You, a nurse. Milton here. You know Milton, don't you? We've met. Milton says you're wearing fancy perfume. Givenchy, if you think that's fancy. Givenchy. <laughs> Nurses don't wear Givenchy. Tell him. He bought it for me. I've got my bag in the car. Uh, if you'd like me to prove it, I could take your temperature. You'd have to drop your pants. It's a rectal thermometer. <laughs> that dress. He must be taking you somewhere special. He is. Where's that then? Haven't told him yet. He's had a busy day, your fella. Had a run-in with my old mate, Billy Hooper. Made sergeant now, I hear. Oh, yeah, I've had a full report. Don't you worry. Right, I'm bored now. Let's get it over with. Nap wants to let me fish, mate. Show the photograph. I expect you've seen worse than that in your business. I've seen worse. The lady's holding a photograph of a man's arse. Someone has carved the word tosser on the arse in question after the hybrid game. You. Yeah. Well, you sat on him, and a dozen or so others did the artwork. There's only four or five now. How many? Six max. How many of them? Three. Three. Said our striker dived for the penalty. That's shocking, oh, I agree. It was a Laguna's patch now. Behind the line is like. Yeah, but still. Six on three. One minute. No glass, no bats. Go on. You'll be out. Fair dues now. One minute. That's fair. You should thank me. Go on. Might need your bag after all. What is this? Nothing much, nurse. Just a minute's worth of rough justice, that's all. You mean he's gone out there to get... Retribution. Oh, my God, this is sick. I think she's a bit upset. Leave it. Rigsy, get the car. I'll sort it. Up, lads. Your turn now, nurse. <laughs> He's alive, then. Get him on his side before he chokes. You're the nurse. Mickey, Mickey Scarper. Scarper. I'll get you an ambulance, mate. Don't worry. Look, I thought you were in your ambulance. The filth check this out. Like twice in one day. Get him out of here. What's he mean, twice in one day? I don't know. Ambulance, please. I've got my dress covered in blood and puke and God knows what else. Get to you, did it? It's just a normal Saturday night in Monford, sweetheart. Normal? Sick. 
You know what they are? Benders in denial. Stupid. How many women in that pub? Do me a favour, just drop me off at the tube, yeah? One walks in? Yeah, and she was... Asking for it? Is that what you were going to say? No. Maybe I was. You did ask. Love it, don't you? Prefer the Givenchy and all that. Pathetic. There's a bike behind. Try and lose it. Oh, gently, eh? Gently! What is the point of this? Mickey the Builder is supposed to be taking his bird on a night out. I'm undercover, remember? Amongst some not very nice people, with suspicious minds. They're still there. Why don't we make this convincing, eh? Start heading up west. Nice and easy. I know what to do. Restaurant or nightclub? I suppose it's all expenses. I make Marvin, I know that. What? I'm hungry, sweetheart. What if they're still there when we come out? <laughs> then you take me home and stay the night. That's not funny. No, it's not, is it? I didn't see any. That doesn't mean they're not there, though, does it? All right, put the kettle on, Dave. I'm dying. Sunday was yesterday. What? I bet we'll do some work before we have another tea break, eh? I'm thirsty. It's like I've got to remind you, isn't it? I'm undercover, Paul. Yeah, I know. It's back up, I'm getting sucked. Hmm? Oh, I ain't got no I don't mean you, Dave. I mean, if Nap ain't rumbled me already, it's not thanks to the rest of the team. Look at this place. You usually can turn up here any minute. So what do you want us to do, then? Build. Do something. Make it look real. Build as build. I'll sort it. I'll have a word. Oh, Sergeant McAllister. I'm just looking at your expenses claim. There's a restaurant bill for 100 quid. Would you like to come and explain it to me, please? I told you it was too wet. Oh, well, it was all lumpy. Was lumpy? Mickey! Oh. <laughs> you idiot, what are you doing here? I just thought I'd drop by. Do you ever do any work? Uh, between jobs. <laughs> and that was having you watched. Uh, oh, that's a surprise, isn't it? Yeah, clocked them, did you? Two on a BM. Not too bright, are they? You send you here and all? Yeah, you did. Just thought I'd let you know. Cheers. What's his interest? Peace of mind. What about the Leeds game? Well, the nominate Reeds is sorting out the transport. Excuse me. What's up? Sorry, boss. What's the problem? Oh, I, I don't believe it. We're going to have to rip it all up and start again. I mean, I told you, didn't I? I said you cannot half rewire. It's like a maze under those floorboards. It's lethal. Paulie, go wash up. It's lunchtime. Yeah? Go on, yeah. All right, thanks, boss. Listen, boss, I know you don't want to hear this, but you're going to have to get rid. <laughs> I mean, he's a good boy and all that, but he's, he's too brick short. 
I'm, I'm just a spark, and I know more about plastering than he does. No, no, no. How long? I'm not kidding you. I know, I heard you. How long? The rewiring? <sighs> Two days. All right. Right. Well, I'll be off then. I'm going to have to leave the power off. I'm sorry, boss. All right. Right, I'll get some lunch. Um, can I borrow your motor? Yeah, yeah, go on. Right. You fit, Paulie? I'm gasping. Yeah. Sam's a good lad. Yeah, he's about the only one who is. If I'd had the choice, we wouldn't have gone there. But Mickey was adamant, so... Could be him. <clears throat> Hello. What? We'll have two ham on white, uh, plenty of mustard on both, and a couple of teas, please. You want me to deliver sandwiches? Golf? Sugar? In your teas. Thanks, sir. Oh. Don't forget the uniform, Deborah. I thought you said we were going for a drink. Well, Hughes is gone. We've got work to do. There you go. Oh, I'm on a special diet. They don't do toffee. Listen, we're going to get that place stripped down, start again, proper job. Is that what you call it? Listen, Paul, right, we're going to make this look real, right, for the story, for Mickey's story, for the operation. Might as well get it right while we're at it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Ten minutes. We'll start playing that England game, shouldn't we? How'd your debit take? You've been away that weekend? You ever been married? No. I have. Her? Yeah. Kids and all. Two. I was 15 when the first one was born. I had to wait a year before I could get married. Serious? Yeah. Second time I got married was in Germany. You married a German? Yeah. I was bricking. Well, I hope you got divorced first. Catholic. Two wives? Yeah. Both alive? Before, if you were a German in East Germany, you had to be married to get a flat. When the war came down, a lot of German blokes just legged it. Left wives in the East, never came back. So there's all these women without husbands in flats. I was earning. She was... What? Desperate? Yeah, she was. So was I. Should have seen how Brits lived. Pig styes. I tell you, prison's a three-star hotel in comparison. She'd been married before, just not in church. You were married in church? I never said I was proud of myself. Plaster. Who? Oh. Nah. I knew him from inside. I mean, he ain't too bright. You see that yourself. But well, if he goes back inside, mind you, it'd be nice to have somebody who knew what I was doing. I'll tell you what, Yuzi. His arm's starting again from where I've been. Well, I might just be able to put something your way. Yeah. The nap wants a store room converting. Got it cheap because it's been vandalised. It said if you look at the ticket here, you could do them an estimate. When? Now. Anyone in? Van the back, sweetheart. Yeah, why not? Mickey, mix will be okay, will it? I'm sure Paul can sort this out. Sure it's not a bit crazy paving. Jeez. We got to the naps. Estimate on a store and conversion. Cheers for that. Too good for him. You know that. You didn't tell me he did the uniform as well. <laughs> Doesn't know he's born. 
He said, what you've got to understand is you might not like them, but these boys, they sort their own stuff out. Yeah, I just don't see why we get involved. Because we got Mickey's back to cover, that's why. Yeah? Well, he's off somewhere. No. Yeah, we don't know where. Come on, get in. Hello, Gov. It's Debbie. Yeah, I'm on my way back. No, Mickey's gone to Napa's. He's doing an estimate on a conversion, yeah. Yep, looks like he's in. She's still talking. This is not funny if she's going back to Sun Hill. Keep trying. Chandler. Oh, it's Debbie. I've got a real problem. I'm on the B335, just outside Raynham, I think. I need the nearest hospital. Well, that'd be Raynham General, I think. Are you hurt? Not yet, I'm not. Mayday from Debbie McAllister. Napa's tailing her, I know. If she knows too, at least that's something. Maybe we haven't blown it yet. She's on her way to Ronin General Hospital. That makes sense. Look, I suppose I'd better brief you, haven't I, Jack? Come in. No pass, no entry. She's new. She'll get a card as soon as she gets in and registers. Now, to do that, she's got to get in. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. We don't want to be late on day one, do we? OK. Thank you.
There's usually a solution I'll find. Let's go. Knapp says he wants this section partitioned, half glass all the way around. The car's here, over there. Your little game's over, Deborah. You don't work here. You've never worked here. You're not a nurse. You've never been a nurse. But don't stop. Keep going. Ah. And you're not Mickey Malone's girlfriend, are you? You're in a different league. You're too classy for him. Slamming it, are you? Nah. If you were slamming it, you might go for Milton Reeks. Just. Not Mickey Malone. You're too good looking. And another thing. What? He never closed his eyes when he kissed you. Know what I mean? Cos he knew he'd never get near you when it mattered. So who do you work for? Sorry? Who do you work for? Who do I work for? Which paper? Instinct. Plus, you paid the bill on Saturday night. Now, what fella with a roll of notes like Mickey Malone carries would let the snatch pay the bill? Unless... Unless she was a journalist with a checkbook. So who do you work for? Freelance. Mainly local rags. I did a piece for The Independent. I thought they might want this for the colour mag. Boys having fun. Female angle. Independent? Don't read it. More of a sun man myself. How'd you dig out Mickey Malone? He did some work on my house a couple of years ago. Knew he'd been to prison, football violence. So you thought you'd get him to introduce you to a few friends? Well... And then you'd get those friends to take you along to a game, show you a row? That sort of thing. Didn't he tell you? But don't take snatch to games. Snatch is for after. Now you listen to me carefully. You print one word about me, the Britannia, or Mickey Malone, and you will be picking glass out of your face. And that would be a shame. They can print that next to your obituary. You do understand what I'm saying, don't you? This will be him. Yes, now. Uh, fair enough. You can hold on another 15, 20 minutes, Mickey. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. OK. Are you sure? He had you for a journalist. Did he say anything to imply that Mickey might have been sussed? Nothing I heard, Garth. You getting this, Grant? I am, yes. Right, even if they haven't sussed Mickey, now that Debbie's blown herself out, it means that his only contact is Dave, and I don't like that. Not do I. Well, there's Paul. He hasn't... I vote we abort and hope we've got enough evidence. We haven't, but I agree. Abort. Thanks, Grant. All right, Dave, get him out. He's at Napa's storeroom. That'll be nap. Yeah. Yeah. You can't talk, right? Is Napa there? 
can see. Yeah. Give me the phone. Mickey, it's Tom Chandler. Don't say anything. If you can get out of there, do. If not, we'll be there ASAP. Cavalry job. Yeah. And keep his line open. Don't hang up. Not you, Debbie. Those are the shoes, mate. They've got some right soft boys coming through, have they? Yeah, they have. I'll take an open cover to you, really, like that, you know? Yeah. yeah. Sit down, Debbie. You're not going anywhere. Dave Quinnan tells me you made quite an impact in the bear's head the other night. A tad overdressed for the part. The word is that you blew it. So, we're going to have to sit and wait and listen to the consequences. By the way, would you mind taking notes? We have a problem, gentlemen. Someone has introduced a snooper amongst us who has been observing us when at times we may have said something, done something, given something away that we'd rather have kept amongst ourselves. An infiltrator who has been intending to pass some inside information on to others. Now, no one, repeat, no one in Britannia keeps stuff from me. Understood? Especially stuff regarding infiltrators. Now, one day, one day, I will write a book. It'll be called The Nap. I'll tell it all. The whole story. I had you down as old Bill. Checked you out. I still have contacts in the job. They said nothing's going down at the moment. The FIU are in a dormant phase. Deborah. You're Deborah. I don't think so. The nap story is going to be told by the nap himself. Not some slack journo wearing Da Vinci perfume trying to make a name for herself. The nap! Buy the nap! And no one else! Got it? Oh, you, you, you are all going to be in it. All of you. Now, don't worry about that. Credit? We credit's due. But it'll be my book. OK? All right. Well, I'm glad we got that cleared up. However, we have to consider appropriate sanctions. See, when I look someone in the face, I like to know it's his face I'm looking into. If I don't, I rearrange his face. No, no. Leave it out, Yuzi. That's my men there. It's two on one. Exceptional circumstance. Stay out of it, Yuzi. <laughs> <laughs> Rixie, put it down. Call him off, Nap. You'll kill him. Teaching someone a lesson, Yuzi. You take them to the point where they think you're gonna go all the way. When you see that in their eyes, you can stop. They've learned their lesson. I think we understand each other. 
Welcome to Britannia, Mickey. Hey, what's that, the ribs, eh? Yeah, that's nasty. You want to get that scene too? We've got some serious planning to do. The England game, gentlemen, eh? <laughs> Call all units. Stop, stop, stop. Return to base immediately. Right, a toast, gentlemen. To us and ours. Us, us and ours. ours. Grant, it's Tom. I think we're still on. Yes. Yep, for the moment, Mickey Webb stays underground. Mate, knowing you can rely on someone 100% not to run 